So going forward, once the agent is installed, we click on discovery and deployment. And when we click on discovery and deployment, as you see, under the probes, there is a section that will come in place, which is this. As you see, uh, I can click on add probes and add the computer that I'm what I'm trying to do the reference from. Now keep that in mind. Once you have the first agent installed in place, as you see, when I open up the agent, there are some de facto settings that I've done on this agent that I would like to be replicated over all the workstations or the machines that I'm trying to push the agent to keeping this machine as my goal image or my baseline. So as you see, I've selected these options here. Then I've selected some remote desktop feature. I've selected some services. Now services which would be common among the workstations because you may push together Windows 10, 7 and some other operating systems on the client side. So whatever is common and applicable would be pushed out and would be rolled out. That's one. Then the second thing that happens in place is, as you see, you can define all these options, notifications. Now, when I go back here and use this computer and add this as a probe, what it's going to do is it's going to do a quick discovery on the LAN segment and pick up a couple of machines like this. So as you see, it found out a couple of machines here. I can select them all or maybe a few and say start deployment. When I select the word start deployment, it will give me the option to specify a group name that what group. So how should I categorize them just like a Microsoft OU or you like a container? Where should I place them? Because basis the group, it makes sense. And as a good practice, we recommend to actually segregate servers and workstations as for organizations. So if you are an internal organization, if you're an MSP, you know what the high level grouping that you should do is is by the company name servers and the company name workstations. That's something you should do. Then under that, you should actually go ahead and specify a username and a password, which could be either local credentials common among all the systems or a domain credentials that you want to set up on the system, like a service account, and then say start. So the moment you start the deployment, you would see that this would be queued. And in a couple of minutes, all these agents will start pushing off to the computers. And after at least a couple of minutes, maybe three to four minutes when this is done, when the prerequisites are met, agents are copied and installed under the system section, under the right groups, but that you would have defined during the installation, you would see all the computers here. Mm -hmm.